The steel design input data for this model was defined in the previous videos. We will now check the model by selecting the design menu and then choosing a steel design code. Note that although the steel design input data is independent of the design code, you must ensure that you have performed the appropriate type of analysis for the design code you choose. For example, it may not be appropriate to use a linear analysis with a limit states design code. If we choose check mode, the program will simply check the member sizes in our analysis model against the design code and tell us if they are adequate or not. If we choose design mode, it will recommend larger sizes for the members that fail and may suggest smaller sizes for the members that pass easily. Let's start with check mode. Using just the factored combination load cases and then click OK to start the process. When completed, we can view a color-coded display of the results by clicking the View Steel Member Design Results button on the side toolbar. You can see from the legend at the bottom that the cantilever and the left column have passed quite easily with load factors greater than 2, and the right-hand column had passed with a load factor greater than 1.1. The curved rafter on the left has only just failed, and the rafter on the right has failed badly. Filters can also be used to highlight the results in a dramatic way. Let's click the Manage Filters button and create a filter that highlights the failed members, plus a filter that highlights the members that have passed quite easily. These two groups of members are the ones that we would most likely want to increase or decrease in size. Either filter can then be selected from the top toolbar. We can also query the results by right-clicking on a member and choosing Steel Member Design Results. The query shows the load factor, the governing failure mode, the effective lengths, and the critical load case. We can then click on any other member to show its results. More detailed information can be obtained by viewing a report. Reports can include a concise summary, plus detailed calculations for each member. You can see that some members have a warning stating that the minor compression effective length was reduced by flange restraints. Spacecast does this automatically if the flange restraints at a particular location are capable of preventing lateral movement of the entire cross-section at that point. You can, however, disable this by unticking the Adjustment of Minor Compression Effective Length items at the start of the design or check. Now that we know that the columns are over-designed, we could reduce their size and we could fix the failed rafters by adding more fly braces or by increasing their size. Some engineers prefer to do this manually and then run another check. However, Space Gas also has a design mode that can make these adjustments automatically. We will demonstrate it in the next video.